Hello, everybody. Welcome to Ukulele with Mead Library and Lil Rev. It's a pleasure to be with you guys tonight. And uh, hope. Hello, everybody. This is Lil Rev. It's a pleasure to be with all of you tonight. Sponsored by Mead Library. Uh, tonight's ukulele class is going to be on ukulele tricks. We're going to talk about the vaudeville ukulele flip and the vaudeville ukulele shake. Okay, so we've got two classic vaudeville era tricks and a handful of songs um, in our Google Drive link um, to practice them with as well. And so I'll be demonstrating these to you and um, you can be taking notes. There'll be some places where you'll be able to um, try this out as well. Um, but uh, uh, mostly I'll just be demonstrating how to figure out how you may add the ukulele shake and the ukulele flip to your repertoire of really cool uh, ukulele tricks. All right. You see, the ukulele, in addition to being the happiest instrument around, has the distinction, the noble distinction, of um, being the instrument that has the most shtick attached to it. That's right, I said it, that great Yiddish word called shtick. And that means that with this instrument, you can really ham it up. What I'm trying to say to you is that once you get up in front of an audience, whether it's an open mic for a few friends, whatever your story may be, um, people empower you with this idea, oh, he or she must really know what they're doing. And so in addition to actually proving to them that this little tiny box can make music, you're going to also get a, um, a tip of the hat, a little bit of laughter and a smile out of people when they see what you're going to do with the ukulele um, by adding some theatrics that come out of the vaudeville era. Okay, that was my pitch. All right. So the ukulele shake and the ukulele flip. That's what we're here to study tonight. And um, as always, we appreciate when you uh, uh, kind of sign in and say, hey, little Rev, we're coming to you from, you know, Torrance, California. We're coming to you from Albuquerque. And uh, so we appreciate that when you pop us a little uh, hello in the thread. This is what we thrive off of. Uh, in these days of um, not having the audience interaction that would be possible at a live event. All right. So here we go. Uh, to begin, we are going to uh, look at my demonstration of the ukulele flip and talk about just what it might be, may be. Okay. So I'm going to play a little song for you and I'm going to demonstrate how the ukulele flip works and uh, its association with something called stop time, which we'll talk a little bit about. And, uh, and here we go, okay? While I'm doing this, I would like you to remove the strap from your ukulele if you have a strap on your ukulele. So in order to do what I'm gonna teach tonight, you cannot have a strap on your ukulele. So at this time, you can remove that as well as um, find the link in the Mead Library discussion thread for the music that we're using tonight. Okay, I say this every time. Go to littlerev.com if uh, you're planning to take the class. Scroll down. There you'll see a little box that says Sheboygan U Club. Click on it, and it'll take you to where the posted music is. For copyright reasons, we do not leave all of our music up indefinitely. So if you want it, you got to get it right away, okay? Some of these things stay up for a week, two weeks, three weeks, all right? So here we go. Here's the demonstration of the flip and the shake, which you'll be learning tonight. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. Jogging years ago, that's one of my four reasons. 
rolls around all morning, flirts with those and flirts with thee. That's who am I for a reason? Which choose that garlic, eat some burger cheese. I get a weakness way down around my knee. Well, I told you this and I told you that. My mind's at ease. That's all for my full reason. Oh, did you see it? Did you see the flip? I haven't done the shake yet. I want to give it to you one more time. Watch real closely. When I say the words, when she chews that garlic, East Limburger cheese, that's when I'm going to do the flip. So watch me now, because your turn is coming very soon. All right, now. Hey, the gas, she full of no. It's a jug and used dough. That's one of my four reasons. Rolls around all the on the Works with those and flirts with thee. That's two of my four reasons. Which choose that garlic. Eat some burger cheese. I get a weakness way down around my knee. Well, I told you this and I told you that. My mind's at ease. That's all for my full reason. All right, did you hear that wah, 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 sound at the end? That was the ukulele shake, okay? So let's talk about these techniques, and then let's practice them with our half a dozen or so tunes that are in our um, handouts for tonight, okay? First of all, the ukulele shake. You can't have a strap on there, or you're going to hang yourself up, all right? So how to do the ukulele flip, all right? First of all, you're going to bring your hand around the front of the ukulele. So you can physically wrap it around the front of the ukulele and the lower bout. Okay, so I'm actually wrapping my hand underneath there like that, grabbing a little bit of it so I can get a hold of it. Okay, now I'm going to take my fretting hand and I'm going to give it a little twist, a little bit of a, of a turn. Okay, so... That, that, that hand's going to do the pulling, and this hand's going to do the balancing. And so I'm going to pull the ukulele towards me gently, and it's going to turn around, okay? Now, the first couple of times you try this, it might not go around, okay? It might wind up right here, okay? Which actually happened to me once in a performance, okay? So I'm reaching around. I'm giving a gentle tug upwards, not too hard that I bop myself, all right? This hand is supporting it, giving it a talk. Okay, your turn. Give it a try. How'd it go? Okay. All right, I do it, you do it. All right, here we go. We're going to do about a half a dozen of these now. All right. This hand supports it, does not squeeze it. All right, just gently rest it. Okay. And then comes back around. So after you've done this a bunch of time, it starts to feel real normal. And you know about how much pressure you need to give it that tug where it's going to flip around, come right back to you. And there you'll cradle that ukulele like a little baby in your arms. Okay. So, okay, that's it. So first we're just giving it a little bit of a tug. This hand is letting it rest. Okay. And then bang, comes right back to us. All right. So... Uh, this works out really good. Now, the question that arises is where and how do we employ the ukulele flip? Okay, what do we listen for in, a, you know, thousands of songs? How do we tell what songs are good for the flip and which ones aren't? Part of it is experimentation. So you got to be willing to do a little experimentation, but there are a lot of songs where Right when you get to the ending phrase, um, you can strike that chord and flip the uke and then begin singing and come back to strumming. Okay, so that's kind of how that works, right? I went, I went, so I, I did the progression. Watch me now. When she chews that garlic, eat some burger cheese, I get a weakness weight. Down around my knee. See, so I struck that chord one time. I flipped it. I kept singing. And then I went back to the next chord that I could. All right. So you've got to listen for these. Tin Pan Alley Broadway songs, the American songbook, have tons of places 
where it's really just natural to do a stop time. Stop time is where traditionally the band would stop and one instrument would play a solo. Listen to Louis Armstrong. This is great music, great American music. And uh, you'll often hear the band stop and then Louis will be blowing all these lines, okay? This is classic of the jazz era of the 20s. And so listen to jug band music, like the Memphis jug band. You'll hear this as well, where the band will stop and the kazoo will blow a line, or the harmonica will play a line, or the mandolin will play a riff, or a little short little phrase. And then the band will come back in, right? We've all heard this. You know, or something like that, right? Right, and somewhere in there, there might be a little bit of a riff playing in there, okay? Uh, in a 12-bar blues, we might go. Right? And while the band was doing that striking a chord, somebody was playing all these little riffs and stuff. That's an example of stop time. And the ukulele flip is being used to fill that space when the other instruments stop. In this instance, your ukulele strumming. Okay, so I want you to understand that's the concept, is that once the rhythm stops with all the strumming, you're doing something. Either a melody's playing or a riff's playing, but in this instance, we're flipping the ukulele, okay? So that's the goal here, all right? Let's do it a couple more times, then we'll try it out with the song, all right? So here we go. Ready? So grab it around the, the lower bout. Give it a little gentle tug. Okay, you try it. Okay? Grab it around the lower bout. Give it a gentle tug. There you go. That's it, okay? Grab it around the lower bout. Give it a gentle tug. Okay, good. I think you're starting to get an idea. This is not rocket science, and, uh, you know, most people pick this up pretty darn quickly there. Okay, so now I think we're ready to try it with some of our sample songs this evening. All right, hope everybody's having fun. Hello uh, to Arlington, Texas. Hello to Portage, Wisconsin. Hello to Appleton, Wisconsin. Uh, Milwaukee. Pittsburgh. And uh, um, all of you coming from across North America, um, thank you for spending some time with me tonight, okay? So here we go. If you printed out the music, you will have um, a handful of songs, cool old songs, right? Cool old classic stuff. And so we're gonna look at the first song is gonna be having fun. Pull that one out or go to the Google Drive and print it out, either three littlerev.com, scroll down, Click on Sheboygan U Club and um, click on the, the tab that says Vaudeville Tricks, okay? Vaudeville Flip, all right? Or the link is in the discussion at the Mead Library page, all right? So, so now if you're looking at having fun, what we're going to do is, we, we're, see where it says the chorus, okay? The smiley bee. All my troubles pass away when she runs out to greet me. So we're going to flip the ukulele where it says when she runs out to meet me. Okay. So we'll strike the E7 on the word she one time. We'll flip the ukulele and come back to strumming. So if you have a pen or a pencil, you might want to take that lead sheet and just circle or underline the word she to remind you that's where I'm striking the chord once and I'm flipping the ukulele, okay? So let's give this a try now, all right? I'm making the presumption that with some of these songs, you guys kind of know your basic chords. So we have A, E seventh. We have uh, an F sharp seventh on the second fret or up here on the sixth fret, barred like a D seventh chord. Either one of those is gonna work for your F sharp seventh. You have a B seventh. Okay, you have an E seventh and an A, and then the chorus has a D chord in there. Okay, so just a quick review of the chords. 
Everybody ready? Okay, here we go. The ukulele flip. I know I look like a librarian with my glasses at the edge of my nose, don't I? All right, here we go. Mighty glad I'm living. I've only just begun. Seemed the world was made for me. I'm having my fun early in the morning. When my day's work is done, seem the world was made for me. I'm having my fun. Here we go, D. What I love is always waiting with a smile to meet me. And all my troubles pass away when she runs out to greet me. Early in the morning, up to greet the song. Seem the world was made for me. I'm having my fun. Ain't that a happy little tune? Yeah, it's a good one made for these corona times. We need positive mojo songs. Let's try it again, okay? It gets better each time you do it. Here we go now. I'm mighty glad I'm living. I've only just begun. Seem the world was made for me. I'm having my fun early in the morning. My day's work is done. Seem the world was made for me. I'm having my fun. What I love is always waiting with a smile to meet me. And all my troubles pass away when she runs out to greet me. Early in the morning, I'm up to greet the sun. Seem the world was made for me. I'm having my fun. All right, if you didn't get it the first two times, you got one more shot, baby. Okay? Here we go. Remember, when we get to the chorus and we sing the word she, we're going to strike the E7 one time and flip the ukulele. You can do this. Okay? Here we go. I'm mighty glad I'm living. I've only just begun. See the world was made for me. I'm having my fun early in the morning. But my day's work is done. See the world was made for me. I'm having my fun. What I love is always waiting with a smile to meet me. And all my troubles pass away when she runs out to greet me. Early in the morning, I'm up to greet the sun. See the world was made for me. I'm having my fun. Yeah. Okay. So there's a little example there of uh, what you're going to be doing with the flip. The real fun comes when you work on adding a little bit of uh, your own spin to it and finding some songs that you really like to play and finding a spot where typically towards the end of a verse phrase or the end of a chorus phrase, when you can actually, um, you know, do a little strum there on one chord and flip the ukulele. Or if you studied my roll strokes, you might notice that I went, I, I did a roll stroke there. I went, okay, and then I flipped it. So if you remember those roll strokes, wherever you would normally strike the chord, you could do rup, and that would work like that, okay? Here's the example. When I love is always waiting With a smile to meet me And all my troubles pass away When she runs out to greet me Did you see it? She runs out, she runs out, she runs out to meet me, okay? So I threw in the roll stroke And whenever possible, I'll highlight other things I've taught just to remind you, hey, you took this class and uh, you learned how to do this. So I hope you're integrating this stuff and, and using it and making it a part of your, your strumming palette. Okay? Well, that's what makes this fun. So you can keep building on, on all these things. All right? So let's go on to the next song now. All right? Uh, if you printed out the handouts, we're going to look at jada, 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 jing, jing, jing. All right? So here we go. I'm turning it in my songbook here. All right. And I got mine all tabbed up. But I want to remind, uh, remind you guys 
Uh, those of you who are looking for fun ways to support Little Rev, this is a great resource. This is my master copy, okay? But that's uh, Strum Along with Little Rev. That's my songbook. These sell for 15 bucks, uh, physical copy plus shipping, or 10 bucks for a PDF download. A lot of cool old material in this book, okay? So uh, Jada, we're going to try this now. And uh, I don't know if you've ever heard this song before. Let me play a little bit before you. Uh, F, D7, G7, C7, and then a diminished chord in there, okay? So take a look at the chords on the lead sheet, all right? This is your time to do that now, especially if you don't know that Alfred Hitchcock chord, the diminished chord. That's the scary chord that you hear in Fright Night movies and uh, scary horror movies. Okay. So take a look at that chord. It's a four-finger chord while I'm demonstrating this song. Okay, here we go. It's just a funny little melody. It's so soothing and appealing to me. Goes jada, 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 jing, jing, jing. All right. You ready to try it? Okay, so watch me now. Where will I be flipping it? Jada, 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 jing, jing, jing. Jada, jada. Jada, jada, jing, jing, jing. It's just a funny little melody. It's so soothing and appealing to me. Go jada, 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 jing, jing, jing. Wah, 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 wah. No. Uh, so the the flip is going to happen in the second line where it says jada, 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 where there's a G7. It's a third jada in the second line of the, of the uh, chorus there. And there's a G7 chord above it. So if you're looking at the actual score, it's going to happen right there, okay? Right there. And you might want to put a little line uh, by that so you remember where to do it. You strike the G7, flip, keep singing, and then come in on that C7, if not sooner, okay? So that's going to happen a lot. Now, um we're just going to sing that first verse. That's all we're going to focus on. All right. So uh, welcome to Virginia Beach. Hello to those coming to us tonight from Serbia. We welcome you. Thank you. It's nice to be with you all. And uh, Salt Lake City, Mount Hood, Ludington, welcome back again. And, um, of course, all of my friends and uh um, dear, dear ones from Sheboygan, thank you for, for joining in again tonight. All right. So uh, here we go. Let's give Jada a try now. All right. Ukulele flip mastery. This is not rocket science. Hand comes around the front, rest gently in this hand, and you give it a gentle tug. Boom, it comes around. If you should add this to your performance as a U club or as a solo player, you only need to do this like once a set. You don't want to be flipping the uke like every other song. Tonight we're focused on it, but it loses its thunder if you do it too often. Okay, keep that in mind. Less is more. All right, here we go. Chada. You know where to flip it? Okay, right when we hit the G7 in the second line of that first verse. Okay, here we go. All right. Jada, 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 jing, jing, jing. Get ready. Jada, 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 jing, jing, jing. It's just a funny little melody. It's so soothing and appealing to me. Goes jada, 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 jing, jing, jing. Stay on that first verse now. Let's do it again. 
couple more times. You're doing great, you guys. Jada, 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 Jing, Jing, Jing. Jada, 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 Jing, Jing, Jing. It's just a funny little melody. It's so soothing and appealing to me. Go Jada, 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 Jing, Jing, Jing. Okay, so isn't that fun? You know, it's just fun stuff to be able to add to your arsenal of uh, tricks. Okay, so uh, I want to welcome Woodby Island, Washington. Isn't that cool? Woodby Island, that is a beautiful area. Uh, Mattoon, Illinois. Hey, Mattoon, sorry that I couldn't make it for our uke day uh, that we had scheduled here for the spring, but it'll happen eventually. Okay, thanks for joining us. And uh, and so Jada, that was that was a lot of fun, and uh, yet another opportunity. Now again, the idea of of all of you figuring out where could I at a flip in some of my favorite songs, that is a matter of experimentation. But a helpful hint would be typically towards the end of a verse or towards the end of a chorus. When you're coming up on the end of it and you strike that chord and you can flip it and you still got a few more words and another chord left, okay? That's what you look for, okay? That's what you look for. So let me give you an example here. Um, you know, so if I was doing five foot two and eyes of blue. Could she woo? Could she, could she, could she coo as? That's right, see my girl. Okay, do you see it? So that was the chorus to Five Foot Two and Eyes of Blue, uh, or, the, or the bridge to Five Foot Two, that where I flipped it there. So that would be an exa another example. Um, here's uh, a little bit of By Mere Bis to Shane as another example, okay? So watch this now. See this happen now. By me, Mr. Shane, please let me explain. By me, Mr. Shane, means that you're great. Again, I'll explain. By me, Mr. Shane, it means you're the fairest in the lane. I could say better, better, even say Bundaba. Each language only lets me know how. How grand you are, I've tried to explain. By me, Mr. Shane, oh, kiss me, say you understand. Did you hear how I threw it in there at the end of that bridge? Okay, all right. So again, there are lots of ways to, to do this, but it's always trial and error with all these techniques. And, um, and I can't hold your hand for that. I can only be the wise old man on the darkened road holding up the lantern and say, go that way, go that way. You guys got to do the work to make it happen for yourself, um, just like I did, you know, all those years ago when I, every time I heard someone really cool playing the ukulele. So my favorite players are those who carry down the Roy Smack traditions, who is very theatrical, or George Formby. Um, a lot of the vaudeville era, era players did these kind of things. Uh, Johnny Marvin. Um, ukulele Ike, um, Honey Duke and his uke. Um, you know, there's just, there's a lot of them. Frank Crummett, uh, all these guys were schooled in the 
vaudeville essence of the ukulele and even more theatrical players like Fatty Arbuckle, uh, who used the uke more as a prop, okay? So um, uh, you're walking in a deep tradition. And, uh, and even though we jokingly flip the ukulele, it's, you know, it's part of it all, all right? And so now we're going to go on to another song. Are you guys also with me here? Um, let's, uh, let's look at... Uh, Let's look at Mr. Crump. Uh, if Mr. Crump don't like it, it ain't going to happen here. An old jug band song. Mr. Crump don't like it, it ain't going to happen here. All right, let's take a peek at that. And then we'll talk about the ukulele shake right, at, right after this song, okay? So one more to flip with, and then we'll start talking about the ukulele shake for a couple of tunes, all right? Let me wet my whistle here so I can continue uh, talking and instructing. All right. Now, um, the chords to Mr. Crump are F, C7, A7, D7, and G7. Okay? Those are some basic chords, and I just kind of presume everybody knows those. So if you don't, take a look at the chord grids in the handouts tonight. All right? I'll give my ukulele a little, little bit of a tuning, a little tweaking here. All that strumming, hard strumming, knocked it a little bit out. Okay. All right. Excellent. Okay. Now, um, this is an old jug band song about one of the early mayors of Memphis. And um, uh, this is a tune that kind of came about in the prohibition era. So that's why there's reference to, um, you know, drinking, but it's also about the hypocrisy um, that happens uh, in any society. And so, um, so let's give it a whirl. Okay. Let me demonstrate where the flip will come for this song, all right? So watch me now. Pay attention to what word I'm singing right when I flip it, and then make a note on your page, okay? Mr. Crump don't like it, ain't gonna have it here. Mr. Crump don't like it, ain't gonna have it here. Mr. Crump don't like it, gonna have it here. Barrel house women get to drinking no big. Mr. Crump don't like it, ain't gonna have it here. So that's where I did it. I did it on that last C seventh in every verse. Okay, I struck the C seventh one time, just like I did all these examples. And then I flipped the ukulele and I kept singing because something's got to continue, whether an instrument is playing a uh, instrumental line or you are uh, singing a line, it's got to continue, right? While you do the flip. Okay. So let's try this out now. Here we go. Mr. Crump don't like it. Hang on a ham in here. And Mr. Crump don't like it. Ain't gonna have it here. A seventh now. Mr. Crump don't like it. Gonna have it here. No barrel house women get to drinking no beer. If Mr. Crump don't like it, ain't gonna have it here. Bum, 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 bum. I saw the Methodist sister turn around, begin to grin. Bum, 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 bum. I saw the Methodist sister turn around, begin to grin. A seventh. Saw the Methodists turn around, begin to grin. Going to the barrel house to do it all again. Mr. Crump don't like it. Ain't gonna have it here. Boom, 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 boom. Heard the Baptist sister turn around, begin to shout. I heard the Baptist sister turn around, begin to shout. Heard the Baptist sister turn around, begin to shout. I'm so glad they brought the whiskey out. Mr. Crump don't like it. Ain't gonna have it here. Bum, 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 bum. Now, what did I do at the end there? Okay. So you got more practice with the flip. But what did I do at the end there? I did a shake. Okay. So we want to talk about this now. This is another cool technique. All right. The ukulele shake is another vaudeville technique that 
works best when you are in the key of C, okay? When you are in the key of C, right? And when you finish the song, you take a breath. Maybe this would be the equivalent of a quarter note rest. And you, you know, one breath, a pause. And then you strum the strings open. But that's not enough, okay? You strum the strings open. Grab the ukulele by the lower bout. Okay? See how I'm holding that? And then simultaneously, shake it. Shake it, baby, shake it. Shake it, baby, shake it. Come on, shake it, baby, shake it. All right? That's what I'm talking about. You got to shake it. All right? So let's try this now. All right? So I'm holding the ukulele at the, right down near the base where the neck and the body meet, okay? And so if I'm strumming, right, and I end the song, you know, I reach down, I grab the lower bout right after I strummed it, and then I, I shake it as hard as I can. So not only is this a visually appealing ending to a song, it also has this reverberating wah 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 wah. By the way, the the ukulele the ukulele shake is part of a tradition of um, ukulele shtick that um, you know is always both visually appealing, but also it makes people think that you are better than you are because you've learned a couple of cool little tricks and you've integrated them into your playing, okay? But it doesn't matter what people think. Why? Because ultimately they always have a smile on their face when they see you doing this. They weren't expecting much to begin with because the ukulele has that novelty effect. Um, and then they're pleasantly surprised that you're getting all this sound out of it and you've got all this these cool little things that you're doing with the instrument. And so you're going to bring up a smile. And it's a great way to end a song. So as I said, ukulele shake. Get ready on the count of four. Hold the ukulele, strum the strings open. That's strumming a C6 chord. All right? And then as soon as you strum it open, grab it and shake. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay. All right, try it again, okay? On the count of four. One, two, three. Okay, you have got it going on. I'm telling you guys, all right? Try it one last time. This is one of those techniques that we don't need to practice very much, okay? Here we go. One, two, three. All right. Okay, so you did it right there in your living room, and you're probably sitting there back in your lazy boy recliner going, oh, my God, Little Rev's got me doing the ukulele shake. I can't believe it in my living room. Ain't we got fun, okay? So if I would come to the end of a song, you know, let me show you now how this works when I would get to the end of a song, right? Okay, so here we go. to deep hell and keep your money in the shoe. Ladies in deep hell and got them deep hell and blue. Oh, sweet mama, daddy got them deep hell and blue. Get ready, it's coming. Oh, sweet mama, daddy got them deep hell and blue. Okay, so two, two, two things here. One, did you notice how when the song came to an end, and mind you, you just, you know, you're presuming here that I, I sang for like two or three minutes, I went through the whole song, and then I got to the end, and I strum the chord once, okay, so. Right, 
So I stayed on the cord and I strummed a little bit. And then finally I strummed it open, grabbed it and shaked it. Okay. So you got a lot of leeway to play around there when you get to an end of a song in the key of C. And when you feel comfortable rhythmically, you know, you don't want to go on too long if you're ending the song, right? Got the deep and the blue. Right? You don't want to stay on that too long. And then shake it, right? But you got a lot of leeway and you get to decide. Now, here are two important questions, okay? Or, or rather, I should say um, notes. One is, this works best on the open C. Little Rev, can we do this shake when we're fretting a chord? A, G, F, B flat, E. Yeah, you can, okay? But you got to be able to hold that chord down, intonate it well enough, and shake at the same time, which means you're, you're going to bear down on this chord really tight while you're actually shaking. And it's counterintuitive to do that, okay? So if I was ending Mr. Crump and I was fretting a chord, it doesn't have the same oomph or power that it does when you strum open on a, in a key of C, because this is a C6 chord. And so any song in the key of C has this jazzy flavor to it. So watch, okay, I'll do Mr. Crump to demonstrate this. And then we're gonna do two songs where you're gonna try to end the song with me and you're gonna do the ukulele a shake as well. All right, so watch me now. Mr. Crump don't like it, ain't gonna have it here. And Mr. Crump don't like it, ain't gonna have it here. Mr. Crump don't like it, gonna have it here. Bare house women get the drink and no beer. Mr. Crump don't like it, ain't gonna have it here. See, it died out, right? There, that time I got a little bit of that wah, 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 wah. But if your, if your hand brushes and mutes any of those other strings while you're shaking it, it's going to die out. So intrinsically, you know, when you do this, it's going to be much more challenging if you choose to try it with a fretted chord. So what I'm advocating on is that find a song in your set that's in the key of C. And try this with the songs in C, because that's where it lives. That's where it works best, okay? So let's look at walk right in, sit right down, baby, let your mind roll on from your handouts tonight, okay? If you did not get the handouts, you have, you know, typically about a week before we take stuff like this down, okay? It doesn't stay up on our archive uh, the whole time. And um, and so now we're going to look at a little tune again from the early part of the 20s. I say this song has roots in, um, in the teens as well, okay? Walk right in, sit right down, baby, let your mind roll on. Came back in the early 60s when the Rooftop Singers recorded it. Um, and uh, had a big top 20 hit with us. All right. Hope everybody's having fun tonight. Before we um, continue with these two songs, the ukulele shake. All right. I, of course, want to make my, uh, my appeal that I make once um, every night that I teach. If you're just joining us, um, then I want to thank you for the contributions and the tips and the... Um, the checks that you've mailed to my home and all this kind of stuff. It's how I'm making my living these days. And as I have said before, um, Mead Library has been a real blessing in um, providing a platform and paying me a small uh, portion of what I would normally make uh, if I was out on the road where I get typically 20 to $25 um, a head for these classes. And that's what I've been doing with my life for the better part of the last 15 years in addition to writing instructional books. And so uh, y'all have kind of been sustaining me, and I'm most grateful. I am most grateful. And so it, at the top of the thread, um, there is uh, um, advice on how to donate if you enjoyed this class tonight. PayPal, Mark Revinson, Lil Rev at lilrev.com. PayPal, Mark Revinson, lilrev.com. Or Venmo, venmo.com slash lilrevmusic. 
and all of your contributions are are very much appreciated, and I thank you for that. Um, I got one more little product pitch that I'll make after we finish our two songs um, with regards to the little rev hats. If you PayPal me 25 bucks and include your address and notes that you want a hat, here's a great way to support me. These are really well-made cotton hats in dark blue. Or what do we call that, sweetie? What color do we call that? Khaki. Khaki. Okay. All right. So um, little rub hats available, 25 bucks at PayPal. And, uh, yes, that was a ruthless, shameless little rub marketing ploy and pitch. Why? Because this is how I make my living. That's why. All right. And I love you like a ukulele. So let's finish with two more songs. If there are any questions, now is the time to add them to the top of the thread because my wife will write them down and hand them to me, and uh, and I can try to clarify anything that you might be confused about with these two fun little tricks. All right? So here we go. Walk right in, sit right down. Uh, where does the flip happen here? No flip, okay? Just the shake at the end of the song. So here we go. Walk right in, sit right down, baby, let your mind roll on. Walk right in, sit right down, baby, don't you stay too long. Everybody's talking about a new way of walking. Do you want to lose your mind? Walk right in, sit right down, baby, let your mind roll on. Let's sing it at least one more time, not twice. Walk right in, sit right down, baby, let your mind roll on. Walk right in, sit right down, baby, don't you stay too long. Everybody's talking about a new way of walking. Do you want to lose your mind? Walk right in, sit right down, baby, let your mind roll on. Last time, and then the shake. We'll put a brief pause in there and then the shake. You ready? Walk right in, sit right down. Baby, let your mind roll on. Walk right in, sit right down. Baby, don't you stay too long. Everybody's talking about a new way of walking. Do you want to lose your mind? Get ready. Walk right in, sit right down. Baby, let your mind roll. So in that instance, instead of singing the word on, baby, let your mind roll on, I let the ukulele end the song. So, baby, let your mind roll. So you could make a note on that page. Last time through, don't sing the word on. Do the strum the strings open. Grab it, shake it, and flip it. And here's an important point I've left out with regards to the ukulele shake, okay? If you're going to do this kind of vaudeville shtick, don't end the song like deer in the headlights, okay? If you do this, then you have to, you know, at least end the song like you really are having a good time, all right? So, you know... Baby, let your mind roll. Okay. What would, what would deer in the headlights look like? Baby, let your mind roll. Okay. That's the look of, oh, my God, I'm terrified. I can't believe I'm doing this. All right. So at least fake it till you make it and smile and uh, um, just let out a big smile. People will love it. Um, I jokingly often say top 10 nursing home material, but the reality is people love that anywhere, right? You know, baby, let your mind roll. So add a little ukulele attitude, a little bit of ukulele shtick, a little bit of ukulele fun, okay? We got one more song before we wrap it up here tonight, all right? So we're going to look at Little Brown Jug, and this song takes us back to the minstrel era, of the 1870s and the 1880s. Okay, Little Brown Jug. All right. 
And this is another one we're going to end with the ukulele shake. I'm so grateful for all of you joining me tonight. And uh, um, I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, as they say in, in, in the entertainment industry, it's a business doing pleasure with you. So here we go. All right. Me, my wife, and a stump-tailed dog crossed a river on a hickory log. She fell off and stuck in the mud, and I clung on to my little brown jug. Okay? I know some of you tonight are maybe taking this ukulele lesson with an after-dinner glass of wine. Okay? Um, so this is a song for you. Me, my wife, stump-tailed dog crossed a river on a hickory log. She fell off, stuck in the mud. I clung on to my little brown jug. Ha, 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 you and me. Little brown jug, don't I go thee? Ha, 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 you and me. Little brown jug, don't I go thee? I went out to view my farm, little brown jug neath my arm. Pitch my mule in the shade of a tree, little brown jug in the shade of you. Say it, ha ha ha. Little brown jug don't, ha ha ha. Little brown jug don't, that's your part, okay? I reached over, give her a pull, little brown jug about half full. Here you are, so near my nose. Tip her up and away she goes. Your part, ready? Do your part now. Ha ha ha. Little brown jug, don't I love thee? Ha ha ha. You and me, little brown jug, don't. That was your part. Last verse and then the shake. You ready for this? Here we go. Every evening when I go to bed, little brown jug neath my head. Every morning when I wake, stop the jug and I take a little drink. Ha ha ha. Little brown jug don't. Ha ha ha. Little brown jug don't. Okay. So once you get to the end of a song, it's up to you. You can end it right on the beat, like right there with that last word, you know, but typically it's going to be best if you give it like a measure and then on that last beat, you know, strum the strings open or on the last beat, pause for a second, then strum the strings open and shake the ukulele. So this is going to work on any song in the key of C, okay? Whether you're doing all of me, or five foot two and eyes of blue, ain't she sweet, or any song that you can find in the key of C. Okay, so I hope you had fun tonight and uh, got a little something out of uh, the ukulele flip and the ukulele shake. And uh, once again, I'm a little rev on behalf of Mead Public Library. Hope you all are staying safe and healthy, and uh, we are grateful for your time and taking some ukulele lessons with us here. Um, the little rev hat for sale. PayPal me, all right, 25 bucks includes the shipping. And that's uh, PayPal, Mark Revinson, LilRev at LilRev.com. Those come in uh, that dark navy color or the beige color, okay? That's one way you can help support the Little Rev uh, cause. I have got about 15 records on the market, including many ukulele albums like my blues, jug band, and novelty record, Drop Baby Drop, and my singer-songwriter album, Sing Song Daddy, which also has a songbook that's downloadable or physical uh, in nature. And uh, if you join me next week, actually I should say on Thursday, uh, we are going to be having a class on intros, endings, turnarounds, and vamps from my uh, book of the same name. This is the idea. What do you play before a song begins? What do you play when a song is ending? If you've ever wondered that, join me for the next class. And um, music should be up there in a couple days. And once again, from my great book with video access, Intros, Endings, Turnarounds, and Vamps by Hal Leonard, available on Amazon or halleonard.com. 
Um, I'll be sharing just a, a little bit of this. And, uh, and it's really fabulous stuff from the Tin Pinelli Turn to the Little Rev ending. The Roy Smack ending. Okay, really great stuff. Blues intro uh, and blues turnarounds. Okay, a lot of chordal type stuff and a little bit of melodic stuff. And uh, so that's coming up. We've got a lot of good classes coming up. Um, tremolo playing, uh, freight train chord melody style, and all kinds of other good stuff happening here. Um, I think that's about all I'm going to say here. Um, just check back on Mark Revinson, Little Rev Facebook page. No concert this week. Next week on May 13th, Wednesday, will be my one-man show celebrating Tin Pen Alley in costume uh, from my kitchen in Sheboygan. And uh, on that should be a real doozy of a show with uh, ephemera, artifact, story, song, poetry, and lore of the Tin Pen Alley era. I hope you'll join me next week, Wednesday. 7 p.m. Should have a great crowd from all over the U.S. All right. So uh, just check back on me and uh, and we'll, we've will we got all these other great classes coming up very, very soon. Thank you once again to everybody who tuned in from all over the country and, uh, and even Kenosha, Wisconsin. So thank you guys. Love you like a ukulele. Be safe and don't let the ditch get in your road. <laughs>